Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Collins coming to you from cloudy San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. You are the author of your life's story. If you're not happy with the genre, let me suggest you are the one that can change it. It's completely and entirely up to you. And here's what I mean by that. You are the author of your life's story. It's something to really take into consideration. And the consideration is this. Our mind... And our spirit, by the way, you're not a human being having a spiritual experience. You're a spiritual being having a human experience. So that being said, our mind and our spirit pick up on and manifest and act out what it is that we are speaking with true faith and strength and belief. The story we tell ourselves, the story we tell other people, the story that goes on and that perpetuates, we are the authors of that story and it plays out in our life. You've heard the concept self-fulfilling prophecies. There's so much power in truth to the reality that what you speak and what you believe becomes your reality. You've heard it in the ancient text. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. All things are possible to him who believes. Do you really believe your sad story? Do you really believe, well, I just can't find anybody that matches with me? Do you really believe that? Do you really believe, well, you know, things are always hard for me? Do you really believe, well, I can never have enough money? Do you really believe I can never get that weight off? Do you really believe these things? You are manifesting the very things that you are speaking. They are coming to pass. You are creating and writing the story of your life with the words of your mouth and what you agree with and believe with. And guess what? If you're around people who love you and care about you, at some point, no one's going to really want to challenge you unless you have someone in your life that you have intentionally given permission to question and challenge you. And that person will likely be someone who's got to be okay with helping you to become uncomfortable with a conversation of growth. So these are very special people in your life, the people that will help you through situations and circumstances where they will share with you what you really need to hear and not necessarily what you would like to hear. Because most people will agree with your sad, sad story. Most people will agree. Are you writing a comedy? Is your life a joke? Are you writing a tragedy? Is everything bad always happening to you? Are you writing a drama? Is everything always dramatic and crazy? Are you writing an action adventure where your life is full of passion and joy and excitement and enthusiasm? Where you're making a difference, where you're moving on the four scales that Zig Ziglar talks about from survival to stability to success and then ultimately into significance where you give back. What story are you writing? What is the story that you will write? Do you realize that you have the ability to change the story today? If you do not like the life you're living, use your little mouth and start declaring and speaking that which you do believe and intend that you can live and possess. It begins with the little words coming out of your mouth. Well, but I don't really believe that. And that's a problem, my friend. It's the story of the gentleman who went to Maui and he was being driven to a friend's place where they were going to be staying in a convertible. And as they were pulling up to this palatial estate in this phenomenal neighborhood surrounded by gorgeous, lush, green mountains, smelled like flowers, beautiful. The guy in the back seat said, whoa, whoa, man, I could never imagine living in a house like that. And the driver said, well then, sir, you likely never will. It begins with your thoughts. It begins with your heart, your imagination. Use your imagination for something exciting, not worrying about all the crap that could go wrong. Start thinking about all the great stuff that could happen and the things that could go right. You are the author of your life story. If you choose to, you can change the story today.
And I hope you do if you're not happy with the chapter you're in. Have an awesome day, guys.